Well, the Cavs are in a unique position right now because last night and the night before shows you what can happen when they give a consistent defensive effort. I and mean, when they turn up their defensive effort, they can do almost anything and come back from almost any deficit. However, we saw a Cavs team that was minus two point guards and minus um, three of their best shooters. And that makes them even more dangerous and spreads the floor for LeBron to do things like he did last night. For the Sixers, um, we're looking at a unique situation because without their best low post scorer and their best player, it opened the floor up and it shows you how fast they can play. With the late addition of shooters that um, Mr. Colangelo brought to the team, it, it makes them very potent and, and uh, able to put points on the board very, very fast. And even a young team like that, they were able to keep the game in control and win a, a tight game, which is going to be indicative for them during the playoffs to be able to have success. It's rare to see such a young basketball team, which the Sixers are, be so strong defensively, but also figure out what had been bothering them all season, which was fourth quarter scoring. Now they know where they're getting it. Is that a function of Embiid being out, or is that just a function of young guys maturing at the right time this season? I think it's a, a function of young guys maturing, and I think their coaching staff bringing them along. Um, them spreading the floor allowed Ben Simmons to just have his have his way with the with, with the Cavs in transition, and then in the fourth quarter they just moved the ball and found the right guy. They made their plays on the defensive end. They they offensive rebounded, and good things happened. Um, it was a great game for them, but I think the the pluses for them pulling out a tough game and beating a playoff team, getting ready, get momentum before the playoffs start.